Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been doing well. We are here for some third party news in the Dragon Ball S Age of Figure Arts space. It has been a lot. I'm gonna be honest. There, over the last like month especially, it has just felt like non-freaking stop in terms of this studio is doing this, this studio is doing this. Oh, there's an update on that. Just man, like it's been a lot. So Without further ado, let's jump into this thing and try to get through it all. So first up, uh, we're going to talk about this guy, Steve Chen TC. Um, they recently have been tagging me in a lot of stuff on Instagram. And a lot of it, you know, I've seen obviously before, uh, but sometimes they do have some nice updates. Like, for example, uh, this is the Air Super Saiyan God kit, uh, the latest photo of it, at least. I forget which version this particular uh, version of the head sculpt is maybe like Ruby or something, there are three total variants of this hair. Uh, and of course, they have different face plates doing something different uh, between the three different sets. It's it's a lot. Uh, but it does look pretty good so far. It's a little bit rough, obviously. Um, you know, you can see it's still kind of just barely, not full product, but it, uh, like they just got it off the, I don't want to say printer, but you know what I mean? The 3D modeling machine uh 3d printer jesus man you, you see how winded i am it's it's 2 42 in the morning that i'm doing this uh but it does look pretty good overall the decals uh they kind of look like they're digitally printed on there it might just be me um but i'm sure they'll look better in the next update we get uh, i will say studio air on Xeonyu has been really quiet as well as the hmyr uh studio they've been very quiet in the last week thank god um because they have a lot of things that they've announced they have things that they announced and have put up pre-orders for already uh, and they have things that are announced from months ago that i haven't released yet so i'm hoping that they're putting their heads down to release such items um but moving on this is the last picture here just another angle looks all right looks pretty good uh, moving forward we've got this base feature gohan kit uh it does come with a sleeve here that's more like windswept uh it comes with the base hair base face plates uh, i know a lot of people seem not to like the lining across the hair because you know in the earlier animations it was just all flat uh, same with the bangs there's no extra lining there um, but i guess you know it really depends on the person if they care about it or not me i could overlook it um yeah that's about it about that uh this was supposed to release i think a little bit earlier um and i think people are still waiting to be given that second payment notice for it maybe um but yeah if this is something you're interested in you could probably find it on aliexpress eventually if not you might have to go the Xeonyu route to get it um personally the the gohan kit i got before i had to put the decals on myself now while i didn't dislike that process it is a tedious one so uh, be careful wherever you plan to buy it from if you do see it and make sure that it already has the decals applied if you are not ready to do that work. Because let me tell you, it it is time consuming. You will need to have very, very strong patience because unless you're like perfect at it, you've been doing it over and over and over, you will mess up and you will need to readjust. I promise you have patience because I certainly was losing mine. Uh, this is another thing by what I believe is also air. Again, they were announcing stuff just kind of rapid fire. Um, but I forget. I think this is more like Cell Saga trunks after the hyperbolic time chamber. I don't remember if he ever had his hair flipped over with the bangs like this in the anime or manga. Um, so if he did, you know, drop a picture or something. Uh, this is the look I'm traditionally used to seeing. Same with that. And another sculpt by Air, uh, still in the rendering phase as well. Truthfully, being honest, you know, anything that's trunks, I'm probably skipping. And I think fairly amount of, a fairly amount of decent people will probably skip as well, just in favor of seeing how the trunks turns out. Uh, I do know, you know, obviously people are waiting for that BoJack or the other movie versions of him, but... I would like to see how this future trunks that we're getting soon plays out before I get any other trunk stuff that because at that point, everything that I get accessory wise, will be for that Tonson R toys trunks. Just, just being totally honest. Um, but we'll see. So 
Again, this also wasn't listed on their Ziani page. They may be chatting it up in private groups. So if you don't see me post something like that right away and I reshare it, it's most likely because they just didn't post it in the Ziani account, which is mostly where I go to check for stuff. Now, this guy right here, Yang, um, and I don't know how to pronounce the other stuff without you know the Chinese characters, um, but it seems like he's going by DCG for the studio name, I guess, um, for these Goku sculpts. You can actually find these available on pre-order at 5K Toys already. I think that there's two Super Saiyan variants and two base variants. Um, they look pretty good so far. A lot of people really like this one strand that was popping out i i do think it'll make a return it might just be that they're kind of um testing other things and it's in the way i don't know but it is advertised in the renders and on the pre-order so i don't see it disappearing for the long haul um, but they do look pretty good i like them nice and detailed they do have that eye looking down expression that people want so much um, and yeah, waiting for more progress photos. These are the kind of the latest right here, I would say. Um, but yeah, moving on. We got Demoniacal Fit. Yes, Demoniacal Fit. Um, nothing new on the Gohans yet, but they are reprinting their Super Saiyan Bardock sculpts, which I think would have done well around the time that Bardock was reissued, you know, the SH Figuarts Bardock. But hey, better late than never, right? So. And right now, I don't think Taunton has any plans to just randomly drop his. So uh, probably a good time to, you know, get it out the way, make some quick bucks because there are people that do want it. I think the only difference is the box color change, too. So uh, if you're looking for it, you're probably going to find it on AliExpress. Um, beyond that, uh, you know, Demon Eagle Fit doesn't announce where they are going to put things up. It's really you got to go find it. Uh, and I don't really know how 5K Toys and Omni May are dealing with Demoniacal fit when it comes to pre-ordering stuff. Um, it seems like, at least for 5K Toys, that they try to wait till it's closer to its actual release to actually put pre-orders up. And yeah, that, that, that's about as much as I can give you with that. All right, quick cut here. Almost forgot to talk about this, but uh, in case you don't know, OC Toys is already doing Vegito kits. They have three versions that are available for pre-order right now. On 5k toys and hk toy box and aliexpress uh, but in addition to that it does seem like they're apparently doing five different bodies uh, in a reply on their insta to somebody they did mention that so far we've seen two variants now i thought this was going to be more like black hole toys doing the bodies and then oc toys doing the faces since that's what it seems like they're doing for the future gohan the ultimate gohan and the super saiyan super saiyan 2 goku uh, that we've seen recently in render form and actually in early prototype form. Um, but in terms of this, I definitely am down for it because the one that Beast Deities gave us, uh, I just, it didn't hit, right? Because it's just in the colors. I would love to have the actual outfit for this uh, Capsule Corp Heroes Vegito. So definitely down for this. And I know a lot of people are hoping to get a uh, 3.0, you know, blue and orange suit Vegito. Uh, so if that's the case and he's actually going to go through with five different versions, you may be getting what you want. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of, you know, actual news from them. Uh, right now, they're giving us a little bit of uh, previews here and there of their current sculpts uh, for the kit that is on pre-order. So until we see that, um, yeah, that's it for now. Anyways, back to the rest of the video. Um, Kid Boo, I know this is one that people are clamoring about. This update just came an hour ago. Uh, the last update we got was a couple days ago or a day ago. And we were kind of all concerned, I guess, about, oh, he's not going to make that June release. And at the end of the day, I am fine having a little bit of extra wait time because it is his first official figure. Uh, it is a figure that is built from the ground up. This has never been made before in this capacity um so i am a little bit more forgiving when it comes to that and i expect it to be of high quality at this point obviously with all the delays but i do want it to be a good product and not fall apart in my hands so if he needs more time he can have the time um just let's not hope for like two years of waiting right uh but yeah so far it looks good um based off of this it does look like it's 
complete to a degree. So hopefully we start seeing that arrive in people's hands within the next, I want to say week or two weeks, uh, because at most it should be shipping out mid July. And that doesn't account for people that are in the West. So it could be a lot longer than that. Uh, it could be an extra month. Who knows? Um, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you order somewhere from like Omni made, for example, it might be a little bit of a longer wait than if you bought it on AliExpress. That's just the truth of it. Cause it has to get from China all the way here to America. Then they have to prepare the actual orders on their website and then ship it from those American warehouses, uh, over to your home. So, I mean, it's another process that they have to do other than just, Oh, it's coming from China to our, our warehouse or garage in China, et cetera, wherever. And then straight to you in the U S to your house. Like it's a much faster process. If you get what I'm saying, that's, that's why I have the Zycor right now from Kong studios slash beast deities. That's how I'm trying to explain it. Moving forward. This has been, this has been the biggest thing of the night. All right. So we got confirmation about the whole bonus accessory thing from Tonson, uh, when it was going to happen, where it was going to happen how it was going to happen. Now that information came in chunks over time. Uh, it was not just all set in stone and available to us right away. I had to go through different avenues to figure this information out. I had went to Billy Billy, which if you're not familiar with this site is basically like YouTube in China. That that's the best way I could put it. And I got this information, uh, from this user rice balls and dumplings. That's the English translation from Google translate. So if that's not right, don't blame me. Okay. This right here was saying at 1600, um, China time for me, that's 1 AM. There will be an open session from 1600, 4 PM China time, I believe. Yeah. And it'll be open for 30 minutes to get version a which comes with the bonus accessory and version b which comes with this bonus accessory now what i want to say to people who weren't paying attention to the post that i put this is only in relation to the bonus accessories meaning this pre-order here is not for the entire you know figure overall yes it includes the figure but you're only having to worry about that if you wanted these bonus accessories. Now, what what interestingly happened with that is um, and and Billy Billy does. Oh, there we go. OK, let, let, let me go here. What interestingly happened with that is at least on Taobao, there were three thousand plus people online. So that's three thousand people that potentially are all going for these two items, which was the version a and version B of this trunks that come with those bonus accessories. So me trying to get this thing, I was unsuccessful because I really wanted to get some of the bonus accessories and hopefully get them out to people. But unfortunately, you know, there was a secret step, which I was not aware of, which basically had to do, I think with this coupon thing, because if you didn't have this coupon, you were not going to basically get it for the actual listed price, which you can see here in this photo. It's supposed to be 90. Now, when I was actively looking at it and trying to get it, it's 999 yuan. Uh, probably said that wrong. Um, not yen, yuan. Hopefully that's translating through the mic. Um, but yeah, it, it, I was like, no, no way, no way. And... It didn't even last 30 minutes. That was the crazy part. This whole pre-order didn't even last 30 minutes. I had understood it as for 30 minutes, pre-orders for this will be open um, and obviously have the code and whatnot. But for 30 minutes, you have your chance to get this. Now, the fact that it closed in less than 15 minutes meant that Tonson had very, very limited quantity of these these bonus items, which is unfortunate. It really makes me wonder how many of those bonus items he had available for the kid booze, because we didn't even find that out until later after those pre-orders had closed, right? For his store. Uh, and this is his store right here on Taobao. So I'll leave it in the description, but it doesn't do you much good unless you have access to Taobao, meaning you create an account and you can actually see his stuff. 
so you can get links to put on super buy or whatever but yeah it, it just it didn't even last and the fact that the kid booze had basically been announced later there's no guarantee you got one of them right even if you had already placed the order and you know what my my message here right i i get i totally understand what Thompson is doing with this right he has already said in one of these weeaboo posts as well somewhere that there are things that he wants to do to to release that he's not going to do in that you know full capacity of like uh like the vegeta heads for example and i'm probably paraphrasing this a little bit but you know basically he wants to do things and give back and those type of accessories that's his way of giving back giving you a little bit extra uh for those first few people who can get in and whatnot now i understand that that's more like your gift you know but do understand at this point in time between the last i would say two years to now i think the audience has grown bigger than just china you know you you got to pay attention to the people in the west you know that are also trying to get your products because the fact that you also have three thousand people and upwards of possibly even more like 6k people that are trying to get your stuff is amazing and just think about how many more people would be trying to get your stuff over here uh overseas in america and stuff like that it's crazy right like there's just more opportunity for that stuff now what i proposed in my uh instagram stories is you know if you're gonna do this stuff for taobao which is a store that most people are not gonna go out of their way to get access to um at least do something like that with the stores you are partnered with that are more available to those based in the west etc you know like omni may for example i know a lot of people don't like omni may but at the same time omni may is pretty decent um just just be on the lookout for that cancellation policy that's like the worst thing i think on there uh but like if you work with them at least like do something similar where okay the first i don't know 100 people that order this figure on the day it goes up can get that accessory potentially right uh and and i don't know that way it alleviates the pressure because again as much as myself bombastic or any other person that covers third-party news in the space on instagram twitter youtube reddit facebook whatever it be right like we can tell you guys go sign up for taobao go sign up for Xianyu, make a super buy account make account for this make account for that you have to do this we can tell you that but if you don't do it you know like you're kind of shit out of luck which is why you know some in some ways it would be nice to at least cater to that audience so they can at least get in on the fun but again i understand it's a gift so he's not necessarily obligated to do that in any form but i just think it would do well that's my personal opinion on that but to conclude this video and to conclude that little mini rant session uh, we are getting looks at the actual figure again in hand um no this thing is not complete okay i know a lot of people were confused because the hair color looks different from the bangs and the accessories are different whatever right or the, the colors of the accessories it's obviously just an image showing you what the figure looks like in the actual packaging how it looks overall obviously this one didn't have a neck in the picture but in this one it does you know and you can see that there's other versions of the body so use the renders okay the render images are there to help you reference you know what's what all right just putting that out there but yeah um that's about it and i mean as you can see link has been removed so um yeah very interesting night for those trying to get in on the fun uh for those that were able to secure an order for those bonus accessories hopefully you enjoy them uh, i will be on the lookout to see if anybody manages to sell anything later just like the individual bonus items there have been a couple of people that popped up on taobao and Xianyu that are selling those boo accessories for example but how trustworthy they are can't really tell you so yeah anywho i will catch you guys in the next video Again, lots and lots of third-party stuff. Hopefully, they're all taking a little bit of a break. Beast Deities, I would put on here, um, but we already talked about those Vegetas. So, yeah, expect now some review to pop up, hopefully of Zycor, hopefully of the 
uh, new Namek Vegeta. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.